laptop. Now we come to our exercises. The first question is multiple choice question. Now let's uh, recall our ordered list. Do you see here it is written A that means the ordered list which is has the type as A and the starting value is also A under which I have another ordered list with type 1 and I have 5 list item under this and each list item further has another ordered list with A, B and C small a, b, c so this is also an example of nested list so the first question and dash list is a numbered list numbered list means ordered list the dash property specifies the type of list item marker in ordered or unordered list so the answer will be list style type this the list style attributes are all related to both ordered and unordered we can give them fill, use them with both type of list a list within a list is known as nested list which tag is used for definition description dd definition description dd observe the given css code table collapse separate border spacing 20 pixel and 40 pixel what will be the result it will divide table into two parts separated by 40 pixels tables each column have separate border no table have double spaces in between column no so the appropriate answer is the A part next question is true false list do not make your web page look attractive list make our page look attractive so this is false DT and DD are the tags for a definition list yes this is true you cannot add a caption to a table in the last program we learned how to add so this is also false we can add the spaces between the cells of a table are fixed no we need to specify how much space we want so it is not fixed it may vary according to our requirement next question is filling the blanks each list item starts with li tag an unordered list is a bulleted list to insert a table we use table tag a dl tag is used to create a definition list definition list dl so here we write dl yes now <coughs> under question D very short answer questions we have our first question as explain the different attributes of a table tag the different attributes of table tag were TH, TR and TD TH stands for table heading TR for table row and TD for table data <laughs> students you can note down answers in your notebook from here now how will you differentiate between UL and or OL list first of all we will write the complete name of these tags an ordered list is a numbered list and unordered list is a bulleted list second it starts with the OL tag and this unordered list starts with UL tag in order list each item starts with the LI tag here also in 
unordered list each item starts with the li tag so while writing you can remove this third item because this is not a difference this is a similarity now come to short answer question under which first question is which tag is used to set the spaces between the table can you guess there was a border collapse border spacing collapse and so here border spacing specifies the distance between the borders of adjacent cell in a table syntax was border spacing then value where value was horizontal spacing insert backslash vertical spacing why do you need definition list support your answer with an example so definition lists display definition terms and their definition descriptions they are not list of items so as the name suggests there are three tags involved in it dl dt and dd in normal cases most browsers display the term and definition on separate lines and slight indents now come to how do you create a table give an example of nested list so this was given in your chapter as well you can write the steps to create a table as we have already discussed in one of our slides you can note it down long answer question write a short note on nested list nested lists a list created within a list is called nested list nested list is a list that is contained within another list this is the explanation of first line it is used to create a hierarchical structure where the inner list is intended to show that it is a sub list of the outer list so nested list can be either ordered or unordered or a combination of both depending on the type of list used to create them for example an ordered list might look like this item 1 item 2 and under item 2 i have two items and then i can have item 3 so within these three items the second item is having two sub items the this list has a nested list sub items that is intended and number to show that it is a sub list of the outer list both list ordered and order unordered can be nested together this is done by writing an entire ol or ul under the li tag okay and nested lists are useful for creating complex lists with multiple levels of hierarchy and they can be used in html and other programming languages to create web page layouts and other structured documents now there was another question number 3 list makes the data more attractive justify your statement first of all just think in your mind do you agree that list make data more attractive yes we write our items in a listed format to make it more appealing and attractive and easily readable so this is true so what can we write here lists make data more organized and systematic because 
we also put some numberings so we can count our data it will make it more organized and systematic as well it is clearly understood therefore it becomes attractive list help structure and present data in a more attractive and user friendly manner improving comprehension and engagement it but just by looking at the data you can also analyze it now list can enhance the attractiveness of data for several reasons one of the reason is organization list provide a structured format making information easier to digest they break down complex data into manageable chunks second point says readability bullet points or numbered list improve the readability especially when presenting multiple points or items this prevents information overload and then it highlights next point is highlighting list can emphasize that is give stress upon key points or highlights within a data set drawing attention to important information next is scanability it allows for quick scanning aiding user in finding the specific data aiding user means helping the user to find the specific data they are interested in without having to read through lengthy paragraphs next is visual appeal well designed list with consistent formatting and spacing can make data visually appealing encouraging and engagement next is clarity list promote clarity by eliminating unnecessary details and providing concise information which is crucial for effective data communication next is comparisons list can facilitate comparisons between different items or data points making it easier for users to understand trends or differences and in summary in summarizing all the above points we can say list help structure and present data in a more attractive and user friendly manner improving comprehension and engagement this was the line which i wrote here also list help structure and present data in attractive and user friendly manner improving comprehension and engagement so this is the last question of the chapter g computer in everyday life that is the application based question here the students have to apply the knowledge gained from the chapter let's see how much you remember and if you really apply your knowledge the question says aditi creates a web page using html she wants to insert a table but she doesn't know how know the tag to be used suggest to her the tag she should use for the same can you guess what she is going to use which tag so aditi should use the table tag to create table in her html web page 